If you want a job or career in web development, this video will be covering the latest modern framework of Next.js and TypeScript which is used in most professional environments. This can also be used with React.js because Next.js is just built on top of it. The topics covered in this video are, we are going to have client-side authentication using Next Auth and we're going to be using the Google sign-in as a provider. We're going to be using styled components as most professional companies use that to handle their styling. We're going to create sliders with React Slick. We are going to have server-side rendering and also be using something called incremental static regeneration. We will be using TypeScript for type checking and catching bugs. Okay, so we are going to be building the Disney clone. As you can see here, we have the login page. We are currently on slash login. If we click on the login button, we now have a authorization page, which we can sign in with Google. So if I click sign in with Google, it will then authenticate us onto the homepage. We have the Google icon here. So the same one I have in the corner that is passed in with the session provider from next auth. We have the header component, a slideshow component. We have viewers that the video plays on when we hover over. We have the relevant sections on the Disney website where we have recommended, trending, new for you and originals. And this is all with data we are fetching from the server side. These are also scrollable. So if I click, it will scroll onto the next. And then when we reach the end, the icon gets disabled and we can also go back also. These are all coming from an API that we will build in our application also. If I scroll down and click through to a movie, for example, The Incredibles, I now get the URL changing to slash movie slash 13. And then I get the relevant information for the specific movie that I clicked on. So if I go back onto my homepage and for example, click the Winter Soldier. And again, the image is displayed as the background image. We are having a title image and we are also having the description rendered correctly. This is all done with incremental static regeneration as well. And what we can do is if we hover over our icon, we can sign out like so, and then we also get redirected back to the login page as well. So let's get started with the build. 